Breaking news coming in right now from Rajasthan, where in a bizarre twist to the Congress's plans for the upcoming assembly elections, the state's revenue minister, Hema Ram Chaudhary, has gone missing. This is after the party forced him to contest the election from a seat from which he was not comfortable. Devankar, our correspondent, is uh, live with us right now from uh, Jaipur. Uh, Devankar, can you tell us more about this, uh, about this case? What is, what is the party and, uh, and the minister's family saying right now? Uh, well, Pierre, uh, the party is mainly tight-lipped about these kind of uh, what you can uh, term as pressure tactics from the revenue minister of Rajasthan, Hemaram Chaudhary. Uh, what the man really wanted is a more uh, a seat which uh, he could have more conveniently won as per him. Uh, also, he wants uh, a, a couple of seats for some of his supporters, uh, which was not forthcoming, and that is why reportedly uh, he is indulging in these kind of pressure politics uh, after his name was declared uh, for uh, a seat from Barmer. Uh, also, uh, his phone is uh, uh, un uh, unreachable, his phone is switched off, he has not uh, uh, gone back to his home for the past two days. So these are the kind of pressure tactics that he is applying so as to uh, uh, get some more, uh, some more uh, leeway from the party's side. Fear? Could you also help us understand what kind of clout he enjoys within the party? I mean, what does he bring to the Congress that could perhaps make them reconsider their decisions? Well, that's a good question, Pierre. Uh, this man is considered as, considered as a close confidant of Ashok Gehloth. He uh, is a revenue minister. Uh, but then uh, let's also understand that he has been indulging in these kind of tactics even in the past. Uh, uh, there is a refinery that came up in Barmer recently. He wanted that refinery to come up in his constituency, and that is why he was applying pressure uh, on the Gehloth government in the past. He had resigned from his revenue minister's post. Uh, so yet again, it's being seen as a pressure, as a, as a ploy to... Uh, to exert pressure on on the party uh, to 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 uh, to give away some of the uh, concessions that he has been asking for a long time. So that is that is the kind of background that this man comes with. But as I mentioned, he does uh, does enjoy a considerable amount of clout with Ashok Gehloth, with the senior leaders in the party, and that is why he has not been acted against, uh, despite a clear uh, kind of uh, 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 disciplinary issue that has happened with him. As you mentioned, uh, they, they, there have been cases in the past where he's applied uh, similar pressure tactics. Is the government, uh, is the Congress party willing to concede on this one as well? Have we had any indications of that? Uh, well, Pierre, uh, this, this man, uh, Hemaram Chaudhary, uh, has had uh, a kind of a, a uneasy relationship with another MLA, another senior leader of, 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 uh, of the Congress, that is uh, Colonel Sonaram Chaudhary. Now, Sonaram Chaudhary also... Uh, enjoys considerable am amount of clout within the party. So both the leaders are at loggerheads with each other. Both of them want maximum amount of concession, maximum am amount of benefits to come their way. Uh, so it's a kind of one-upmanship one that is being uh, that is being happening in Rajasthan Congress. Uh, so it's yet to be seen as to whether the party uh, concedes to the kind of demands, the kind of pressure tactics, the kind of bullying tactics that yeah. Hemaram Chaudhary has been applying. Uh, but it's unlikely that the party, uh, given the fact that almost all the seats have been, uh, the candidates for all the seats have been declared uh, that the party will give in at this moment. What, what kind of uh, popularity do both these men enjoy on the ground with, uh, with supporters of the party? Well, both of them uh, appear are considered as veteran leaders of the party. Uh, Colonel Sonaram Chaudhary uh, is, is, is someone who has played a, a crucial role in deciding uh, the tickets as to which all people will be given the tickets for uh, the 200, or, uh, 200 seats that will go, uh, go to the hustings in Rajasthan or come December the 1st. So Colonel Sonaram Chaudhary does enjoy a considerable amount of clout within the party, although he is considered as someone who is right. not uh, on good terms with uh, Gehlot, but he does have uh, right. good relations with Ten Janpath, with Sonia Gandhi. On the other hand, Hemaram Chaudhary is someone who has risen from the ranks, okay. who has risen from the ground and is considered as someone who can play a major role uh, in the elections. Uh, they uh, Stay with us. We have on the phone line Arun Chaturvedi, who is a leader of the BJP. Uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, can you tell us about uh, the Congress party? Because right now people say the BJP goes into this with a big advantage. Is, is this something uh, that, that you expect to happen in the Congress? Or how would, how would you see this playing out? It is a pellet on Barbar is also getting the Congress may inviting it. Or present Congress see the policies the government is doing. उन गवर्नमेंट के कारण विद इन कैबिनेट भी काफी आपस में एनरिजमेंट काफी था उसके कभी भी कांग्रेस के संभाल नहीं पाया आज इसलिए है जब कांग्रेस के सीनियर लीडर्स को और वर्कर्स को लग रहा है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी 
क्योंकि पांच साल उसने कोई काम नहीं किया इसका जीत नहीं सकती और जो मना कर रहे हैं तो कांग्रेस के बड़े बड़े नेता भी उनको फोर्सफुली चुनाव लड़ने के लिए कंपेल कर रहे हैं